I'm not so much trying to convey a message about machines, but rather to offer an opportunity for us all to think together about some of the consequences of our increasing entanglement with different kinds of information technologies. I'm Annie Dorson, and I'm a theater director. I make algorithmic theater. Uh, I collaborate with computer programmers, and together we design software that performs theater in place of or alongside human actors. These little pieces of code are really doing things. They're improvising. They're acting in a way autonomously. A question you don't hear every day is a terrible thing to waste. Uh, Hello, Hi There is a piece in which two chatbots uh, improvise, in a way, a new conversation at every performance about human nature, language, and creativity. Could they tell jokes that were funny? Could they create some new ideas? Could they create tension in their conversation or conflict? All of those things that we think of as sort of part of theatrical experiences, I wondered if, you know, we replace the humans with these two really, really simplistic, rudimentary natural language programs. How would that go for an audience? Just kidding. <laughs> Yesterday. Yesterday, tomorrow started in a way because I had this desire to work with a slightly more complex algorithm. So it's moving from yesterday to tomorrow. So you hear yesterday in the beginning, and then durations and pitches and syllables, the lyrics start slowly changing. It does somehow create a feeling of suspense and expectation and optimism it's still somehow really satisfying to hear it in unison again at the end of this sort of musical journey. The Great Outdoors is a piece about the internet and social media. It's set in an inflatable planetarium and the audience gathers almost like at a digital campfire and listens to an actress recite internet comments from Reddit and 4chan and 8chan and some other chat sites that have all been collected over the previous 24 hours before the performance, and then sorted into a script by an algorithm. And you really hear stories from people where you almost feel like you start to get to know them. When I started this kind of work, I was thinking a lot in terms of epistemological change, that we're entering a world in which how we know what we know is changing. It seems to me crucially important to take time to reflect on how we are working together, algorithms, and people. <laughs>